you have a whole team of people, do you not, who do uh, um, the whole Pono Pono work with you? Um, you I'm, I'm part of a group of people who who we have developed over over the last 25 or 26 years. Um, some of them are coordinators, like my friend uh, Marvin here, who, who does most of the work. Um, he has to listen to all these telephone calls, and get the emails, and I'm glad I don't have to. That's not my part. I wasn't created for that thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but so so, and then we have also coordinators uh, who can teach, who who so coordinate teach, and then we have people who teach who don't coordinate, and then we have. Um, key people who are key people because of the cleaning that they have been assigned to do, not because of anything else, but they, they are important people in terms of cleaning. If we can get them involved in the cleaning, we will have an easier vote. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four of them. Yeah. So but these people are particularly skilled at cleaning? Not that they are skilled. They're the worst people on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, he says, okay, let's get the worst people on the planet to do the cleaning. Wow, I think that's wonderful, don't you think so? So, we, we, we have the, the biggest troublemakers on, in, the, in, on the, in the cosmos helping with the cleaning. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. So why, you know, if any said, why would I, Jesus came and said, why would I fall in love? be in love with somebody that already loves me. I'm going to go look for somebody who hates me. So we got a lot of people who are kind of of that category who can, who can clean because that's what they've come to do. Wow. Yeah. That's inspiring. You suppose you got that? No. <laughs> I, I didn't. Can you share that with us? Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Share that with I don't you. understand. That there are people who so want to clean up themselves and they have so much work to do that their cleaning really transforms the planet yeah. because how much they have to clean. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And without their cleaning we would have we, it would take a longer They longer are big time. vacuum cleaners. Yeah. <laughs> Mangungus. <laughs> and they only showed up over the last thirty years. <laughs> but Marvin is not one of those he's one of those finite. He has that I can, that, I that, can see that. <laughs> he has one of those French... Um, he swivels, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he swivels. Yeah. And, but he's very good at the swiveling. Yes. That's, that's why I show it up. Mm -hmm. So Marvin, you, we haven't let you get a word in edgewise here. Would you like to share a little bit about your experience in doing Ho'oponopono? And well, um, I don't know where to start, but um, it's something that I'm just very thankful for the divinity to give me as a tool to get back to where I'm supposed to be, to be with God. I, it, it, you know, it, I just, I'm just in awe to have this kind of tool to, to be able, or to be able to go back to Him, basically. It's, it just transforms my life, you know. So, yes. used to be, I would, for anything that happens, I would look at, other people, other than myself, to point a finger to and say, you know, you did it instead of looking at me. Right. So, it just changed, it just changed the whole thing. You know? So, it's just cleaning, it's just, just about cleaning, so that's all I can say. Mm. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. And boy, is there cleaning to do. Uh, I some them. <laughs> You know, no matter what you do, there's always stats. You know, always you have people who who are signing up, who want to know this or that, and, and you know, I'm glad Marvin got that area covered. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to just show up and do the work. Well, but I get to do my part, which is not easy, <laughs> yeah. because what what you're dealing with is is the addiction for engagement. The addiction for engagement, yeah. did you say? Yes. Yeah. Like well, you want to, you want to wrap your hands yeah. around it. Yeah. You want to get a hold of it. Yeah. 
and 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 the the realization is people cannot help it. Right. So somebody's got to get to the cleaning, and so the idea is that my responsibility, his responsibility. So one of the things that we say to our to the staff in the class: Hello, do your cleaning. Don't be asking any questions. That's a that's an engagement. But they're willing to do the cleaning. The, the class usually goes fairly smoothly. Hmm. So. Because you know, they can catch areas for which I'm not even conscious of, you know. They can pick it up in there. And how many people we have this weekend, staff? Uh, we have four, yeah. including me five. Yeah, and then cool. my, my kids uh, are volunteers. Yeah, but it's the cleaning that's going to get us through this weekend. Because if we're doing our cleaning, then they will get the information directly from the source, as opposed to getting it from us. Latsu once said that to become knowledgeable is to acquire information constantly, but to become wise is to un to let go yeah. of information constantly. Yeah. That would yeah. be similar to yeah. Bob. Yeah. So, but the, more importantly, if if you're at zero, you allow everybody else to be at zero, and they get their own information, mm -hmm. as opposed to your thinking you're going to deliver the information. If you if you're coming from, I got the information, I'm going to deliver it to you. You're going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. You're, you're, it's going to be a long weekend. <laughs> but if I'm willing to clean along with the five other people, they will get, the room will get what it needs, the chairs will get what it needs. I mean, really, so profound. The floor, the building, the Sheraton will get it, the land will get it, um, San Jose will get this will go out and out mm -hmm. and light up the whole world. Yes. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tough to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was a point in, in Zero Limits where you mentioned, where it is mentioned. Oh, I like that, that. <laughs> yes. Uh, that um, that uh, when you were doing cleaning, sometimes you would feel pain in your body. Yeah. And uh, I've been working with, uh, I love you, I'm sorry, please yeah. forgive me, thank you for... Yeah. Uh, with a fair bit of dedication, yeah. not as much as you probably, but yeah. for about eight months now. Yeah. And I noticed times where I would feel, it felt like I would describe it as an energy knot that would yeah. congeal and harden and intensify in my body. Yeah. And as I kept on doing cleaning, yeah. that it would sort of dissipate. Is this a common pattern that you... Um, I think it's different for everybody. Uh, yeah. But that's the thing I love about the Ho'oponopono. Is that there's no, there's no one program for everybody. Everybody is their own program, and so the program is to to really erase the data, to get everybody back to zero. That's and once they get back to zero, they they'll be awed by who they are. They'll fall in love with themselves. They'll be they'll be grateful. But like the word aloha, for the Hawaiians, some Hawaiians, I should be careful. Somewhere, when you say aloha, you're actually saying alo means to be in the presence and ha means God. So I, when, I, when people say aloha, I, you're actually saying I'm in the presence of God. So the whole Ho'oponopono is to be in the presence of God and you have to recognize that everything is really God made. And if you mess around with them, it's going to come back and swat you. Yeah. Best to say, ah. <laughs> yeah. 